Dwayne Wade, Gabriel Union, except humbling in NAACP. I heard you're not supposed to say that. NAACP? I don't know. Honor after daughter Zaya's legal name change. All right. Dwayne Wade's daughter Zaya's officially granted name and gender change. L.A. County judge recently signed off on Zaya's new identity. Documents state that Zaya is to be issued a new birth certificate stating her new name and gender. Zaya's petition for a name and gender change was filed last August. It would take him so long. <laughs> and drew criticism from Zaya's mother, Siobhan, Savon. Sorry, sorry, mama. Um, Funches Wade. Oh, she kept that last. <laughs> Y'all remember I talked about that. Y'all got to let these last names go. If you married into my name and then we divorced, marry out of my name, damn it. All right, sorry. She has a good point, though. I'm about to get to it. Savon contested the petition in November. Oh, that's why it took so long. Claiming that Zaya was being pressured financially to make the decision. Damn. What you got to give her? Allowance? <laughs> Some Snickers? <laughs> hey, Zaya. Take you to Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, yes. Sure. Whatever mama says, wrong. <laughs> Crazy. Y'all know I bring levity, so if y'all want me to get deep and heavy on this topic, it's not happening. But it is a deep and heavy topic. And that's why I bring levity. Um, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union were honored with the President's Award at the 2023 NAACP Image Awards. Oh, good, good, good. All right, full disclosure, y'all know, I haven't seen her in forever, but I do know Gabrielle Union. I knew her before uh, she was Gabrielle Union. So y'all go listen to old podcasts. I want to know how. All right, that's the homie, though. Um, see her, it's love. Dwayne Wade, I've seen before, but I don't know Dwayne Wade like if I see him, I'll be like, oh my God, Dwayne. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, no, I don't know him like that, but I do know of him. Um, this. Dwayne says, quote, all I wanted to do is, no, all I wanted to do. Oh, God, Lee. I don't know where he went. Marquette, let me get this right. <laughs> what school you go to, Dwayne? Get this, your quote messed up. All I wanted was to do it right. There you go. All I wanted was to do it right. Okay. And that's where I want to start. They have a child that has changed sex, transgender child. I am here to say no one raises their hand as a parent and says, I am anticipating, looking forward, or expecting my child to change their sex, change their name. I actually know a transgender child that was in our school before. Um, and I know their parents. Um, let's just say caught off guard. Dwayne Wade as well. There was a day. Um, Gabrielle Union as well. There was a day. Now, from that day, Dwayne Wade, all he wanted was to do it right. Make the best decisions you have with the information you have. It's time to play on our humanity right now before we get into the the politics before we get into the life decisions and more importantly, what you, the viewer, what people feel about someone else's life changes. I want to say this. Once you're on that path, you just looking for intel, information to be informed, to make the best decision for your child. Because your child now comes first. Ah, Magic Johnson had discussions about this. You guys know I know Magic. Magic has talked about this and his son um, being openly and gay. Um, you can sit there all you want. Sit back and say, A, B, C for my kid. Right? But one thing I know about kids, and I got four of them. You, you create them. You and the wife, you and baby mama, whoever, y'all create them. But you don't control them. Now, here's the rub of this story. Because Dwayne, Gabrielle, Savon, oh, wow. It's time to change Zaya's name. It's time for sex to be, gender to be changed. They didn't ask for that. But you put now the child first. And here's where we're going to go. The child is not making an informed decision because it's impossible to make an informed decision as a child. One, I think we all going to sit here and say, yeah, we've been kids before, <laughs> right? At that age, don't know enough. Not a great enough perspective. So now we go into the two roads. One, you have put the child first, which is admirable. 
and you let that child know that you are there in support no matter what. You are there in, in security and comfort for that child no matter what. And this is why I know they are. And this is why I know you would be too. I saw a kid the other day that was deaf, sign language. Um, and it just made me appreciate that not only are my kids healthy and big and happy and into sports, but they have their senses. Like they have all five of their senses. Like things we take for granted. Because I coach. I hear parents complain and, and, and bitch about their kids not that good or fast. or I mean, they do it in jest sometimes. But the point being, they want their kids to be studs. There's a parent out there that just wants their kid to hear. Dwayne, Gabrielle, I'm sure they just wanted their child to stay the same sex and gender. Sex, gender, and name. That's not reality. So now the real conversation is the onus on the parent who has put the child first, but doesn't let the child lead. What do you do? Woo! First of all, let me just say, I am glad I'm not in this situation. But I do have three kids under the age of Zaya. So hmm. well, we're going to talk through this. I remember being a kid and I wanted to be a Transformer because that was my favorite cartoon. Literally, I wanted to be a Transformer, but I wasn't a dumb kid. So I realized quickly that that wasn't going to happen. So I just need to play with Transformers as much as I could. Then I said, oh, I thought I was smart. I had an epiphany. I can't be a Transformer. I can't be Optimus Prime, but I can be the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that's a human. Well, he's a monster. No, watch watch the TV show. David Banner was a real dude. Walked off every show at the end, ripped clothes, by himself, lonely. Had that in my head. I was also the same kid that wanted to quit football. My dad looked at me and said, did you commit to football? Yes, I did, Daddy. Okay, you're going to start what you finish, and you're going to finish what you start. That's it. All right? If you start it, finish it. Right. And if you're in the middle of it, we going to keep going. I remember that. I remember so many times where my parents showed me the love and support that I needed in that moment based on the decision I was making or the decision I made. But I also knew that my parents will always lead. When I look at this situation, my call to question is. As much as you want to support your kid, and as much as you have to be there for your kid, the kid is not in a position to make this grand of a decision. Ah, lazily was say an adult decision, but just an informed, older than this decision. But what are you to do? I am not even condemning, because that's true dilemma. Look it up. Two possible choices two bad choices like you don't support your kid what happens you know what happens you do support your kid but you're like it's a kid i just let a kid change their identity when a kid doesn't even know their identity you don't know your identity but you changed it what happens if you wake up one day and want to change it again oh no no that's not how it goes the biology let's go back you don't know your identity. This is not for everyone's consumption. This is not for everyone's interpretation as much as it is individual. Your identity is yours. Your signature is yours. Your fingerprint is yours, right? But your identity, if you're Zaya, has changed without you having full knowledge of what it is. Wow. It's fascinating to me, right? My group texts, my real private conversations. That's why I do this show. Because I like to bring those here. I don't like to hide behind. We're not supposed to talk like this and say this. We're like, the kid's just too young to make this decision. And the pushback is, well, if you don't make the decision, do you still have a kid? We're going to force the kid to be in the house and do everything you want. And just, this will be constant co contention for the rest of its Childhood, for sure, if not adult scarred. 
I didn't come to this conversation with a solution because <laughs> I usually don't. I come to the conversation to discuss, right? To really bring both sides to a place where they can respectfully agree or disagree. Me personally in my house, no, no, no. Not letting my kids change their identity. Why? That's me talking too. <laughs> They're not talking back just yet saying that. Why wouldn't I? Because they're too young to understand what they just did. And in this world, in this country, in this society, in this house where you protect kids from things based on age, I think identity should be in that category. I think gender should be in that category. Sex. Name? <laughs> you know, I'm not letting my kids change their name. Even though my wife changed my kid's name. Another story. Uh, but it was in the hospital, so the kid didn't even know their name yet. So she gets a pass. But long story short, um, I'm not trying to be controversial. I don't want to be controversial, but I do want to communicate. And I do want us to talk through experiences like this because I think we grow and learn from it and we stop pitting ourselves against each other, pointing at each other and pitted against each other. I don't want this kid to have to go through a life where it's just resistance and judgment. But I also don't want a kid to think that they are in a place where they can make big adult decisions. You can't. So I wonder what the comments going to say on this one. I'm interested to see what y'all talk about.